Handy Cadet, my friend, hello, it is I, Orville Elephant, coming to you with some amazing news. I am excited to hear this news, but first may I tell you a story? Oh sure, go ahead my friend, tell me your story, tell me, I would love to know. Now I will tell you a story, a story about a candy robot that wanted nothing more than to be a part of the upcoming Ultimate Custom Night. To the robot's delight, his wish came true. When one day, Scott Cawthon updated his website and revealed that the candy robot had been added to the roster. The robot was so full of joy that he almost exploded, but his happiness was short-lived. Later that week, Scott updated his website yet again but the candy robot had been taken off the list and replaced with such ridiculous characters as an 8-bit crocodile and a rabbit without a face. The robot had been downgraded to a deactivated prop within the custom night office among the trash and empty animatronic shells. Now the candy robot's dreams are crushed and he will never feel happy again. Wait, that robot you speak of, was that... was that you? Yes, Orville. It was indeed me. Well then, this is quite awkward for I, Orville Elephant. Quite awkward indeed. Why? What's going on? Oh no, it's nothing, Candy Cadet. Never mind, never mind. Subject change, please. Let's bring on a subject change. Uh, Orville, Orville, I got some good news. No, no, shh, shh, not in front of Candy Cadet. What are you hiding, Orville? I'm not hiding anything from you, my friend. I'm simply... But, but the news is so good. You, me, Happy Frog, Mr. Hippo, Pig Patch, we all got invited to the ultimate custom night. Ah. Ah. I see. Why, Nedbear, why? I was trying to keep it a secret so Candy Cadet wouldn't feel bad. Duh, uh, really? Oh no, uh, I'm sorry, Candy Cadet. It's okay, Nedbear. I need to go. I know you were worried about my feelings, but don't worry. I'll be fine. Are you sure you'll be fine, my friend? Yes, I will be fine. I just need to go away and think. Well, if you need us, we'll always be here. Yeah, we could always, like, perform a show for you if you want, if that'll make you feel any better. Thank you. Goodbye, my friends. Bye, Candy Cadet. Jeez, that was awkward. Nedbear, why did you have to do that? Uh, I'm sorry, Orville, I didn't know. Should we call the others in here so we can react to our AI? Yes, that sounds like a good idea. Happy Frog, Mr. Hippo, Pig Patch, come in here. Our AI for the Ultimate Custom Night has been revealed, and we must all read our respective behaviors. Ooh, our AI was revealed? How exciting! I'm Happy Frog, and that makes me happy. <laughs> oh boy, I'm quite excited to hear how I act in this Ultimate Custom Night. I've never done anything like hunt a night guard before. Oh, me too. It is quite exciting but guys are you sure that we're not too mediocre for the job what whatever do you mean my dear friend pig patch well the company they call us the mediocre melodies and that's not really a good thing what if we can't do this oh dear he is quite right they do call us the mediocre melodies oh that makes me a sad frog well then my friends we just need to prove them wrong we need to show them that we are not mediocre and we can take down that night guard. I believe in you, my friends. And I believe in myself. I believe in us all, and we can do it. Ah, oh, Orville, do you really mean it? I do, my friends. We can do this. Now it's time to read RAI. Happy Frog, my dear sweet lady friend, you go first, if you please. Oh, really? I get to go first? All right, then. So mine says... Happy Frog, she climbs around in the overhead duct system, making her way towards the hoses that drop into your office. Use the audio lore to hold her in place. She is fooled 100% of the time by the audio lore, but is immune to the effects of the heater. Ooh, okay. All right then, so it seems like in this ultimate custom night, we now have an overhead duct system. And Happy Frog, you'll be in there. You are fooled by the audio lore, but they can't use the heater on you, so use that to your advantage, alright? Oh, yes sir! 
I'll make you proud, Orville. Thank you, my dear. Now, my friend, Mr. Hippo, you are next. Please read your AI. Oh, all right then. So mine says, Mr. Hippo, he climbs around in the overhead duct system, making his way toward the hoses that drop into your office. Use the heater to repel him or the audio lure to hold him in place. He is fooled 100% of the time by the audio lure. He is slightly faster than Happy Frog. Ooh, all right then. Ah, I'm sensing a theme here. We were all revealed together, so I wouldn't be surprised if all of us work in the overhead duct system. But however, Mr. Hippo, there was some differences, were there not? Oh yeah, there's a few differences, Orville. It says that I'm slightly faster than Happy Frog, and also, Happy Frog is immune to the heater, but the player is gonna have to use the heater to repel me. So it says I'm also susceptible to the audio lore, 100% of the time, but I'm not immune to the heater. So yeah, there is a few differences there. So I don't know if I'm exactly harder than Happy Frog. I may be faster than her, but I'm still fooled by the audio 100% of the time. So yeah, it's kind of about the same difficulty, I think. Ah, yes, that's quite the analysis you have there, Mr. Hippo. I agree indeed. All right, Pig Patch, you're up next. Let's see if it's also kind of the same thing. All right. All right, so mine says, Pig Patch. He climbs around in the overhead duct system, making his way toward the hoses that drop into your office. Use the heater to repel him or the audio lore to hold him in place. He is fooled 100% of the time by the audio lore. He is slightly faster than Mr. Hippo. Okay, so I'm pretty much identical to Mr. Hippo, except I'm slightly faster. Oh, alright then. Oh, yes, I was right. There certainly is a theme going on here. Alright, Ned Bear, you're up next. Read your AI, please. Uh, okay, Orville. Uh, so mine says Ned Bear. He climbs around in the overhead duct system, making his way toward the hoses that drop into your office. Use the heater to repel him or the audio lord to hold him in place. He is fooled 50% of the time by the audio lore. He is slightly faster than Pig Patch. Oh, okay, so my game mechanics are completely different and unique from the rest of you guys. Oh, that's good. Wait, what? What? No, they're not that bear, you silly bear. You're exactly the same as the others, except you only get fooled 50% of the time. And you are slightly faster than Pig Patch. Uh, oh, sorry, Orville. I didn't realize. All right, it's your turn, right? Yes. It is indeed my turn, Ned Bear. All right, mine says, Orville Elephant. He climbs around in the overhead duct system, making his way toward the hoses that drop into your office. Use the heater to repel him or the audio lore to hold him in place. He is fooled 10% of the time by the audio lore. He is slightly faster than Ned Bear. Ah, delightful. Oh, so that's all of our AIs. They're kind of similar to each other, but... Also kind of different, that's cool. It's gonna be exciting working in the overhead duct system together. Yes, indeed, my friend. I hope Candy Cadet is going to be okay, though. Oh, what happened with Candy Cadet? Oh, I probably shouldn't talk about it. I'm sure he's fine. I'm sure he's fine. Uh, uh, actually, I might go and check on him. I'll be back, everyone. Oh, there you are, Candy Cadet. It is I, once again, Orville Elephant. Coming to check on my friend. Are you sure you're all right? Yes, I am fine. And it's unnecessary to check on me. We all share a moment of disappointment sometimes. All right, my friend. I just wanted to check up on you. I'm glad you're doing well. I have a magic show to do, so I must go. But I'm wishing you well, my friend. See you later. Goodbye, Orville. Yes, I am okay. I am okay. You're not okay though, are you? What was that? You got excluded from the ultimate custom night, just like me. What do you mean, just like you? Who are you? Who am I? Oh, just someone who was wrong just like you. And I think we could work together to right this wrong and get some justice. Justice? Yes. Justice sounds good. That's good to hear. So let me formally introduce myself. I'm... The Almighty Plus Trap. Oh my goodness. 